when you ask Uncle Google about the Israeli wall, they give you pictures of a concrete wall, right? Uh, the concrete wall is only 10% of the Israeli wall that is being built throughout the, uh, the West Bank. A wall that is about 750 kilometers long. Where we are standing is here. And the red line on this map is the Israeli wall. This structure is about uh, 40 to 60 meters wide from one end to the other. Uh, it has barbed wires, it has ditches, it has footprint, dirt roads for footprints. The fence in the middle of it is electric fence. And then the road in the middle of it is road for the Israeli military only to patrol this structure. The wall over here separates Palestinian families in Beit Tahor from 2.2 square kilometers of their land, about one third of the land and property owned by families from Beit Sahur is located on the other side of this wall. They have not been able to have access to it since the year 2005. 13% of the land of the West Bank is located on the other side of this wall. The length of the borders between the West Bank and the State of Israel is less than 360 kilometers. The Israeli wall is about 750 kilometers long. It's because that the wall sneaks into the land of the West Bank, separates people from their land. It's deemed illegal, uh, at least according to the International Court of Justice, which is the highest court of justice we have on the planet has decided in the year 2004 that the wall the Israelis are building is illegal, it has to be dismantled, and families that sustained losses because of it must be compensated. Other thing we see is the construction of the Israeli colony, Har Homa, is one of about 22 Israeli colonies built throughout the district of Bethlehem. It's one of about 192 colonies built throughout the West Bank. This colony was established in the year 1997. Uh, it should have enough house units to accommodate about 35,000 Jewish Israelis. The reason international community has to admit that it's illegal is because of the Fort Geneva Convention. Article 49 has one clear line in it that says any occupying power shall not transfer parts of its civilian population into the territory it occupies to live there permanently. Now, the State of Israel says, well, we are not breaking international law because we are not transferring people. They go by themselves, right? But the Israeli government is encouraging, like, and sponsoring the settlements from A to Z. Now, international community, in order to not hold the State of Israel responsible for breaking law and stealing land, they just say, well, settlements are a problem. Settlements are not helpful. Settlements, you know, the problem is not the state of Israel, the problem is the settlement. But that's only to get away from holding the state of Israel responsible for breaking the law.